Okay, so for, this is quite crazy for the like fourth day we have constant news and Robtop is back as you can see. He's building levels and also coding and here we have a screenshot. I haven't seen this. Oh, so that's the sneak peek level I can see and let me see what we have here. Devil ID, the time that you've spent on the attempt I would guess or maybe the whole session on this level. Uh, attempt three, uh, taps, how many times you've clicked that is also saved. Uh, the time of the game, the gravity, your position. What is active? Four, seven, nine. I have no idea what this is. I'm wondering what this actually could be. No idea. Audio. So he has one song in this level and 15 different sound effects, I'm assuming. Oh, that's the, here we have also the triggers. So this is for like debugging. So 108 move triggers, 9 rotate triggers, scale 47. Yo, that's a lot. That's a lot. And zero, and zero follow. Oh, we have a lot of area triggers. That's crazy. We have 95 move. These ones use uh, the area trigger, I'm pretty sure. And area scale as well. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, so this tool is is could be good for creators uh debugging info so you can optimize your levels all right okay so this it seems like this is not only for rob topic but we can also enable it ourselves so it's not only for debugging for rob as a developer but also for like uh, level creators which i think is pretty cool you can really mess performance if you leave actions running in platformer that isn't needed anymore oh okay so okay that's interesting that's a thing that creators should keep in mind i think he's uh, referring to once you have like something that is moving up and down for example at the beginning of the level and then you get really far and then this thing is still moving up and down for like absolutely no reason so you should probably put a stop trigger later on to make the level like more optimized oh so that's uh you can it's not only for created levels you can also enable it for online levels i'm not quite sure about that though okay, now he's like blaming us if the if the level optimizations suck okay well with with so much debug i think this should be all right for creators uh, as a creator i would say this should be okay also is it just me or is this quality just like way better than the video I, I feel like this is way better quality but whatever also rob i thought you said you were just gonna bug fixing from now on uh and he's seeing new stuff getting added and he says needed it for my own level to check optimizations okay and also if in case uh this person was referring to like area trigger or like the change background trigger and stuff like that that these features were added even though rob top says he's not gonna add any more features this is because he said it once in a video in like a voice call i think he said that the longer the wait time uh, the more features he has to add so even if he says i'm not gonna add any more features and the community waits for like for like six more months he can't just leave the update as it is he has to like keep the momentum going with adding the features for example like he said that he's not gonna add any more features back in 2019 and imagine now 2.2 not having like like the um, jumping on a wall mechanic where you could like the gravity switch to the wall or the area triggers or like the shaders they were all added in in 2020 or 2021 and the reason why it's even been taking him this long in the first place is i would say the platformer mode i think like bug fixing and debugging all of the possible things that you can do with all the you know, game modes like the gravity you can go left and right I think that was probably one of the difficult parts in the 2.2 development. And also here we have somebody asking for 2.3, is there a possible chance that you will add notifications uh, where daily levels come out? Okay, okay this guy is basically roasting Robtop because he always sets dailies too late. Because usually a daily should appear at 12 a.m. Like when the day begins here in Europe at least. Maybe in a future update, sure. I think that would be also cool to add like uh, message notifications, but you can obviously turn that off. Or even like if, you, if your level got a rate or if you like follow a creator and this creator posted a level you should also get notified because i think there are a lot of really good creators that you would like to follow and see when they release a new video a new level i mean and we can't do that unless we like keep going to their profile and refreshing so i think an idea of like like getting this notifications where you have your own inbox to see all the notifications i think that would be kind of cool what do you guys think about that thought on the option to give creators the ability to put objects on their own cc layer and be able to move that cc layer in independently to improve uh, performance instead of moving all the objects at once and he says this is definitely an alternative he's looking for some similar options for the future updates i think drop top has like despite having so much new content in 2.2 despite this game in and of itself being so huge drop top seems to have a ton of more ideas this is crazy like he keeps coming up with new ideas i i find this i i, I honestly respect that because when i made my game i could barely come up with new ideas for my game like new features but now like he's developing this game for like 10 years and he still has like future ideas for like upcoming five years probably which i mean by that probably only one update <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. <clears throat> Will there be a rotate to mouse pointer checkbox and a rotate trigger? 
Uh, so you can use guns to yourself. That's a really good idea. Although I'm not quite sure if this could work. Well, only if you like hold the mouse click and then drag on the screen. Because that otherwise that would not work for a phone. You can't like m see where the finger is on the phone unless it's pressed. And he says not in 2.2. So I think that's a really good idea. I never really thought of this. He's like the left and right buttons is enough uh, confusing for players that are used to one button gameplay. So I don't want to add more buttons in 2.2. That's fair. But things are planned for future updates every time dude will you will plan on adding that preview thing for 2.3 i don't know how to call it yeah i'm gonna try to fix that awesome if it works it's wrapped up up top does it count triggers also the amount of visible objects in a specific area when in platformer mode it shows active objects on the screen oh okay oh so basically oh okay so this was how many objects are active on the screen wait okay this is quite crazy i thought that was way fewer than that let's try like counting them i would say this is one block one two three that's probably like 10 and up here are probably like 60 and here we have like another with this lava i would say this lava is also one object so that's like another 40 that's 100 and these ones i would say are one two three for the glow so three times how many are these like 20 so that's 160 and then we have the chain 100 and let's say 200 this glow on all of these i would say like 220 i would say here's some stuff 240 this fire the glow and also this bridge i would say 300 maybe with the coins and up here i don't think how does this even get to 497 we have the glow as well maybe it's the triggers as well these triggers also count i'm not quite sure but i feel like there's something missing in here and here we have how far does your roadmap go anything beyond 2.3 as of now or anything and in case you don't know what the roadmap is for rob right now is to release the update and then crash the servers because of the, all the new players and all the returning players and then he's gonna fix the servers and then move on to fixing bugs so basically no new features added probably in the first month after 2.2 gets released it's gonna be all bug fixing i remember when i launched my x turbo edit this is like a tool that edits your videos that you can buy in the description by the way this is also a lesson for rob when I released that, and uh, there were a lot of bugs, so I had to take it down. I decided to release that on that. 17th of may and i thought like after that date i'm gonna be so free and i released that and once people bought it there were so many bugs i had to fix i had to like work for an entire week just fixing bugs and when i say an entire week i mean 11 hours every single day and so after like a few days i decided to remove it from the store because it wasn't really functional and so i fixed it in like a few days without sleeping never mind and then i put it back in the shop i fixed it for all the customers so now everyone has a functional extra which is kind of cool and yeah, this is also a lesson for Rob. If you release 2.2, don't think that this is over. Also, I wouldn't recommend releasing it and then going to sleep, which was something that I did. It wasn't good. But to me, it was okay because I had only a few customers. But for Rob, this is a huge thing. You should probably, once you're finished with 2.2, you should sleep and then wake up very fresh and then release the update and see what people have to say. And then maybe like not sleep for 50 hours. <laughs> just kidding but it's gonna be it's gonna be stressful i'm pretty sure but it's, it's for the good uh hi rob top i have a question with the arrow trigger coming out in 2.2 how will it sync oh no this is a huge problem in the 2.2 uh sync works like planned so yeah it's basically like uh i've messed around with this on my main channel with the arrow trigger where you go sideways and there is like a uh, channels that you use it's a it's a uh, i wouldn't say it's very complicated but it's quite complicated so once you get used to it i think it should be okay so you have like channels and stuff for triggers it's pretty complicated stuff for now uh what's his favorite trigger in 2.2 uh spawn in order wait what the heck is that <laughs> see we've never heard of this and remap made building much easier and much more fun i think this is very cool uh good to finally meet the developer of the game i've played it for 9.5 years dude that is crazy nine this is how old geometry dash is uh how are the area triggers going boom uh, thumbs up good news i'm assuming they are completely finished all of them uh, are you gonna add multiplayer in 2.2 versus is delayed but it's coming okay ah uh, we're not gonna get versus in 2.2 it's okay though that was my favorite feature that's the feature that we have never played uh, my f initial favorite features were platformer and also versus but now that we've already played platformer on the, on the private server but obviously the 2.2 version is just quite different and now versus is gonna be delayed it's okay i'm quite okay with that okay and the favorite feature in general surely can't deny that you like the sfx right and the sfx are insanely fun to play around with 
period. Rob almost never ends his sentences with a period. This is kind of weird. Is the arrow trigger a force to touch trigger or can you make it a vertical? Weird. The rotate gameplay slash arrow trigger can be activated by position. Doesn't have to be touch. Yeah, that's that's also how I used the arrow trigger in Electroman Adventures 2.2, which you can watch in here or there. I'm not gonna advertise. Shut the f oh my god, what the heck is happening with these comments? At Robtop is is a bug or not? Because why can I beat a weekly demon, get the coins and stuff, but then beat the normal level and also get stars and coins? Whoa. Hi. And weekly and daily give the stars and rewards on their own. You can earn double the reward if you play them not from the daily menu. Uh, what are the two pages in the SFX settings? Uh, what? There are four pages in the SFX trigger? Wait, what? Wait, I, I thought we only had like a... Oh no, he said about a bunch of new things. I completely forgot about that. Dude, that has to be a lot. Oh my god, that's a huge feature. Okay. Regarding that picture you sent, uh, will toggle triggers affect the stats? In what way? I hope he's gonna continue talking. Uh, shouldn't you be working on 2.2 now? He's working. Which is cool, multitasking, you know, feeding the community some news. Okay, activity for example of objects. If you toggle off objects, they won't be visible as active. Oh, but they are still moved if toggled off. So you need to stop. This is exactly what I said. This is exactly what I said a few minutes ago. You have to stop them with the stop trigger. For more optimization, guys, keep that in mind. Main reason for the new debug info is so that creators can see and remember to disable effects. Yeah, that's smart. I like that. And here we have in 2.2, did you fix spawn triggers so that they can activate every frame rather than just stopping working at a certain point? And he says that uh, they should be able to trigger every one out of 240 uh, seconds, I'm assuming, not quite sure. Uh, Rob Top, uh, publish 2.12 to not anger me, that game is not Google Play. Google tricked me so much, I can't do it. Okay, we already know about that. Uh, what will you imagine recent tab will look like? pure chaos that's that's a correct description i'm holding you to this else i'm gonna keep using collision loops if you set a spawn trigger to self spawn at zero delay i think there is a risk it will fail instead of double triggering can check later okay so yeah you see it's a lot of uh stuff that he doesn't know yet he has to check a bunch of things we just gotta remind him of them here we have what about the servers and they're gonna die pretty much yeah i, th I think they're gonna die for sure i hope he moves to the good servers we get 2.2 release and the servers don't die how amazing would that be because once they die nobody's gonna play it imagine like seeing how many new videos are coming out and geometry dash 2.2 is all of a sudden on the uh, youtube trending and people download it and they can't play it how miserable would that be and then everyone would quit uh, what about an option to set trick delay in the spawn trigger he can check can't believe you aren't roasting people right now i can't believe you know how to read okay that's quite funny roughly how many sfx uh, will there be and yeah 5k what okay he has to like uh bought like a like a library for sound effects i don't think he made 5k sound effects on his own like bought an ak and went to his farm and boom boom I don't think this is how it went. Uh, but he's gonna add thousands of more later. That's just a start. Oh my god. This is so cool. Okay, question number one. Is there an option to hide platformer controls in a level? And he says, uh, there's an opacity slider for platformer controls. And can you rotate solids? Uh, n no answer. But you can't. I know that you can't. Unless you make them untouchable, then you can. Then basically they're no longer solid. So, uh, hey Robtop, are the main levels completed now? Not 100%. Ooh, I like how he says, I like how he actually answers this question because I've, I've asked him this a lot and he never really gave an answer. But now he's actually saying it's not 100% done, which means he's quite close, I would say. Because once you ask him about a feature and he doesn't answer, usually it means it's bad news. If you ask him like two years ago, uh, how far are the main levels he would probably not answer instead of answering and saying not very good or lying so he would basically not answer and this time he actually answers it not 100% that's pretty cool because the main levels are like a huge pain to finish especially because it's been six years you know uh, I'm not quite sure if six or four or five I have no idea uh, have you started finishing up 2.2 now or are you just planning to adding more stuff not adding anything else nah just fixing bugs okay bro really didn't keep a single save for 2.1 
have the full 2.1. Yeah, and the reason why he doesn't upload it to Google is because he needs to update a lot of the API and a lot of and a lot of files in order for the game to be applicable with the Google Play new API because like they change it every now and then and you have to update your game accordingly. And these updates are only in 2.2 and he could like basically add all of these to 2.1 that would take ages or not ages but like a few months so why not just finish 2.2 and get 2.2 so we could play it. I think that's a good way to go. Uh, are sound effects uh, used in the normal too? They can be. All right, that's cool. Uh, okay, back to work, adding secret. And now people tag me. Come on, guys. You need to be quicker. You guys tagged me so late. Okay, back to work, adding secret areas in platform work. Okay, so I'll see you guys in the next one. I hope you had fun in this episode of news. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, Exterbird it now.